So we have our test bed set up with a bunch of motors and wheels and gears and switches and stuff. And now we're going to come into Robot C, which is this program. It might be here under Apps, under Robot C. And so this is the program. It starts with this little te open test start page. No big deal there. Uh, it's on your version things. Okay. We want to write a program. So we're going to go new file. It's calling it something. We want to automatically save as, uh, let's go running motors. And let's make sure we know where we save that. Um, I tend to put things on the desktop and then move them to my Google Drive. Awesome. So we have this thing. So here, task main, boom. Let's talk about what our program is going to do. So again, we're going to put comments. So a paragraph comment is a right slash, four slash, and an asterisk. Notice I think they're turning green. And then we're going to asterisk and forward slash again. Notice how task main went back to blue and those went to red. But everything in between is going to be green. Um, program to learn about motors. OK. Now, we could get in here and write what we're going to make happen. Pretty much, we're going to make, make a motor start. Um, let's go half speed and then uh, run for two seconds and then stop. That's what we're going to make happen. OK, so we have our, our VEX controller plugged into the computer with the USB. We got the battery plugged into the, to the VEX controller. We've got it turned on. Now we need to set some things up. And this is all about what ports you have things plugged into. All right, so I have a motor plugged into port one. I'll call that right. I have a motor plugged into port three. I'll call that center. And then I have a motor plugged into port five. We'll call that left. Um, I capitalized right, not center. We're going to see what happens if I capitalize things or not. But we got to tell what kind of motor we got. We have a VEX 393 motor, because that's what they are. Now here, I'm going to go with a three-wire motor, because I had to plug it in to a three-wire um, motor controller. Let's go with that. I haven't tried the other way yet. I'll have to do that. Actually, just calling it a 393 motor. I don't know if it'll talk to it. Boom. Now, you see this box here reversed. This might come in handy when you have motors facing each other kind of thing. And you know, you want to talk about forward. Because the motor turns either clockwise or counterclockwise. One's forward and one's reversed. Now, if you got them facing each other, clockwise for one is counterclockwise for the other. So... You might want to click reverse on one of those when you have a car and you have two motors. All right, so that's motor set up. We click apply. Don't forget to click apply. And then OK. And you look up here, and our pragma statements, our setup statement says on port one, we have got right motor. Port two, we got center motor. I'm not liking if these colors are different, but we will see here. All right. So we have to make sure that we are in, so I clicked on robot, platform type. I want to be with a VEX2 and a natural language PLTW. Make sure those are checked. If not, you got to figure out a way to get them to check. Usually it's going through like VEX, going through VEX robotics, clicking on two, and then making sure you check on um, natural language PLTW, which means we can use over here in our functions, uh, the natural language things. So movement, we want to run our motors. So you can just click and drag this stuff in. Again, we put it in between the curly braces. That's where things go. So start motor goes there. Motor port, this is where you're allowed to use names. And then speed, let's go 63. Zero to 127 is a motor. Um, 
Let's just see if we can get that to, to run. Now, how long? That's the wait function. Wait a certain amount of time. I'm um, going to tell it two. And then I'm going to tell it to stop the motor. All right, that's the program right there. You're going to make the right motor run for two seconds at half speed uh, and then stop. So the next step is to compile the program, which means the computer is going to check, see if it's good. And it doesn't like something. Running motors compiled error. Left is already defined. So it doesn't like my name left in that. So let's go back to here and capitalize it. See what happens. Compiled again and came up with no errors. Down here is the errors. It usually tells you what line errors run. Now that we compiled it, again, our robot's on, battery, plugged in. We download the robot. And this comes up and we can start our program by clicking start. We're going to tell the robot to run it. We'll start and my motor goes. And that stopped. Awesome. All right. Um, let's make you know. Let's make them go in order. Let's go. Let's go uh, right, center, left. So copy. Yeah, you can copy and paste. Um, notice how it put the semicolons at the end of each thing. Um, then we're going to make the center turn on and the center turn off. And then we're going to make the left. If you ever forget what you named things, they're right up top in the setup statements, the pragma statements. Okay. All right. So let's compile it, see what it says. It went through okay. So download the robot. Again, when you hit compile, it's going to come with errors down here. Downloading your robot. So it's pushing the program over the robot. Robot only holds, the robot is the VEX controller. Um, it only holds one program, the last one you gave it. So we're going to start. The right motor is spinning, stop. The left, the center motor is spinning, stops. And the left motor. Ta da! That's a program. We made three motors go for two seconds at half speed. Um, yeah, change the speed up. Again, at zero to 127 as our possible values. It's 128 possible values. That's a power of two. Computers run on power of two. See what 126 looks like. Compile program. Nothing happened. No errors. No errors popped up here. Download the robot. Program debug. Notice down here, um, variables are shown up here. It's going to give us values of things. We'll use that sometime later. Start. Hmm, my left motor sounded a little rough. Um, all right, that's program.